It is a murder that has gone unsolved for 37 years. 30-year-old Patricia Stichler stabbed to death in her own home while her children were feet away. And today, Sylvania police revealing a neighborhood teenager, Michael Mellis, was the one who killed Stichler, but no one could ever figure out why. WTOL 11 investigator Kaylee Marantet has been digging into this story today. So Kaylee, why might we never know why he killed Patty? Well, Mel and Jeff, Michael Mellis was only 17 years old when police believe he killed Patricia Stichler, but he was killed in a car crash just a few years later. So while that question remains unanswered, this is one step closer to closure for Patricia's family. As I've cried for 37 years and now I'm here and I, I, I can't cry. I'm I'm happy that it's this, this day is here. A day that Patricia Stichler's family has been waiting for since 1985, when the 30-year-old mother was brutally killed in her home. You know, the officers investigated the best they could for 1985, you know, did all their follow-ups, collected the evidence, and just were never able to develop a suspect. The case stayed active and was looked into again in 1998. Over the course of re-looking at the evidence, develop a DNA profile for an unknown male that came from um, an area within the crime scene that would be lead us to believe it's a good chance it's the suspect. Patricia's former husband, boyfriend, other male friends were tested, but no match. 20 years later, in 2018, officers looked into genealogical testing, looking through familial DNA to see if there was a match. And after years of searching, there was. So we ended up with probably a distant cousin a couple of times removed um, in California. Tracing family member to family member. It led us back to Michael, who lived six houses down from the victim. Michael Mellis, who was 17 years old at the time. News that was painful, but also a relief for Patricia's daughter, Kirsten Kelly. We've lived very full, wonderful lives by choice, <clears throat> but not without a lot of pain and a lot of unnecessary suffering at the hands of a 17 year old. With the news of the suspect, Kelly wants this to clear others' names. Toby Oldham, who was my father, and James Richard Vale, who was my mom's boyfriend, spent 37 years of their life being judged and ridiculed by everyone. My father, even as, as recent as a few years ago, went to a reunion and somebody said to him, you killed your wife. I mean, this was a very dark cloud and it's not fair. Kelly has fought tirelessly over the years for justice, a feeling that she's been waiting for since she was just nine, the age her mother was taken from her. It has been a very gut-wrenching process, but it's all worth this day today. Now, Kaylee, something I find very interesting, so Melissa's DNA was found inside the house, but there was really never any reason for it to be there, so this kind of helped police figure out that with the DNA it was him? Yeah, exactly. So no one in the family, according to police, knew Mellis, so there was no reason for his DNA to be found inside of their home. Let's talk about Mellis's family for a moment. Do we know anything about them uh, as far as this connection? So we did look into that and we found that the Sylvania family actually sold their home after the murder had happened. And when I asked police today what their reaction was, they said that they were shocked. And police say that this case is actually still open and they are looking for information from the public. So if you know anything, saw anything, heard anything, your information could be super vital to this case. So you should call police or contact them. We have that information on our website. Haley, thanks so much. Great job. Thank you.